Another plant that we have here in the uh, lower portions of the north coast section of the Botanic Garden is monkey flower. Uh, it's in the genus Diplacus, um, uh, Diplacus or Antiacus, I believe it is now. And uh, it was commonly known for years uh, in the genus Mimulus, and in many uh, nurseries you still find it under Mimulus. Um, this uh, cultivar is uh, cherry, uh, beautiful dark pink flowers. Um, uh, and I, I will also say that uh, there are several other species of Diplacus, uh, also known as monkey flower, that are native to this area and throughout the state. Um, one thing that uh, monkey flower do have in common is these sticky leaves. And uh, one of the common names for it is uh, sticky monkey flower, uh, bush monkey flower, um, but it does have these sticky resinous leaves. Uh, uh, this is a plant that will typically flower um, anywhere from early spring into usually late spring. Uh, we're actually in October right now, and it's still in bloom. So this is a, a happy plant here today. Um, the color range on monkey flower is tremendous. You'll find them anywhere from a, a pale yellow uh, through deep oranges, uh, red, and uh, burgundy, um, and uh, some different size flowers as well. But this is a typical about an inch wide. Um, in our area, monkey flower will probably do best in uh, some part shade. Uh, here uh, in the gardens, it is growing in some part shade down uh, near the bottom of a swale. Um, uh, one thing that you will want to do with uh, monkey flower is after it's finished its main bloom, if you want to deadhead it, a lot of times you can uh, get another bloom out of it in late spring to early summer. Um, it, uh, it is a, a pretty drought tolerant plant, um, and so uh, it will get by with fairly minimal water um, as long as it's in some part shade. Uh, it will be sensitive to uh, excessive watering in the summer. Excessive watering in the summer will kill the plant like um, many of the California natives that uh, come from a chaparral or uh, sage scrub environment.